So I was sent a box by Spellcrow Miniatures, and today we're going to find out what is in the box in a Spellcrow blind unboxing. It's coming right up. Nick speaking and welcome to this video and if you're new to the channel and you want to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k then please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload and remember I upload on a Monday, Thursday and Saturday every week. Now it's fair to say I have quite a good relationship with Spellcrow miniatures. I've reviewed a lot of Spellcrow products here on the channel previously. So when they contacted me and said, have a look at the website and see if there's anything else that you would like to review, I thought to myself, hell yes. Now it's fair to say there's a lot of products on that Spellcrow website. I picked out a few items that I thought I could use and would like to have on the channel. Necron crystals and objective markers, I'm looking at you. So you can imagine my surprise when I received this massive box from Spellcrow Miniatures. So I thought it would be pretty cool if I did a blind unboxing of what is in this box. Now before we have a look inside the box, of course I need to link you up to the Spellcrow website. Their address is www.spellcrow.com. Make sure you check them out. Right time to have a look inside this box. Right, let's have a look and find out exactly what we have in this box. Okay, this is exciting. Bubble wrap just to hide everything. More suspense. Okay, lots of bubble wrap. Wow, here we go, here we go. Right, what have we got? Wow, there's loads of stuff in here. So, first of all, yes! We have the large Necron Crystals. Excellent! I'm going to use this for my Seraptic base that I'm eventually going to make. We also have some of these small Necron Crystals. Again, these are going to be awesome for bases. Excellent, thank you so much Spellcrow. Right, we have we have, okay, some of this I'm not going to recognize straight off. Oh yes, okay, some Aldar scatter lasers. Awesome, I wanted to try these out because I need to convert my Aldar jet bikes with scatter lasers, so this is gonna be cool. Right, okay, next, yes! Some Necron objective markers. These are the ones that I gave away in a previous video. Spellcroak, thank you so much. I am going to make good use of those. Right, what is this? Now some of this is uh, unnamed and okay. I'm recognizing the runic things on there, I believe. But this is the Space Wolves objective markers. These look really, really cool. There's little runic numbers on there to determine which objective number is which and there's even a little hole there so you can put a dice in there as well. So very, very cool. Okay, next we have some skulls. Look at those. Some big and some small skulls. Never have enough skulls. Okay. We have a plague prince. Wow. I didn't even see this on their website. That is a lot of resin. I'm going to have to have a closer look at this and I'll do that obviously on the channel as I go through. Today it's more of a, an unboxing video. So, let's see what else we have. We've got some drill bits. Because actually Spellcrow do a lot of other stuff apart from just resin pieces. They do magnets and obviously in this case they do drill bits as well. So. Um, I did actually put these on my list just to uh, try them out. But yeah, there you go, some drill bits. Okay, next up we have plague doors for vehicles. So these are basically rhino and vehicle doors for your Nurgle army stroke death guard. In actual fact, I have two of them. 
So that's them. What else have we got? We've got some more doors. We've got plague doors for light vehicles. Okay, so these are heavies. Okay, so these are obviously for your bigger doors for things like Land Raiders, and then that is the Rhino version. Very cool. Okay, we've got some shoulder pads, Plague Knights. Okay, so some Death Guard shoulder pads. How cool do they look? Right, let's see what else we've got. We've got some more shoulder pads. Are they different ones? Oh, wrong box. They are different ones. So we've got version 1 just there. That is version 3. And then we've got another pack, version 3. We've got some more light vehicle doors for Plague Marines. We've got, what's this? Plague front plate for light vehicles. Awesome! So this is a front section, including the lights for your Plague Marine Rhinos. Sweet! Okay, we've got another packet of those. We've got some Plague Knight backpacks. How cool is that? Okay, what else have we got? So there's a lot of Plague stuff here by the looks of it. Okay, we've got another set of Plague Knight backpacks. And as we move through, we've got the top hatch for light vehicles. Okay, you can really make your rhinos and razorbacks look very, very nerglish. So we've got two packets of those. Right, now we have a figure, a Plague Lord. How about that? That looks awesome. So they do actually minis as well. Not just for 40k, but they've got some sort of D&D type minis. It's definitely worth checking the website out. Okay, Plague Knights shoulder pads, version 2. So there's another set of shoulder pads, which is really awesome. Which is what I loved about my Noise Marine shoulder pads that I got. I uh, had six different types of shoulder pads, which is great for distinguishing the different units. And then again, we've got another set of shoulder pads just there. Loads and loads of boxes of stuff here. Right, let's have a look at this. This looks cool. So we've got a Plague Lord conversion set. So this seems to have lots of bits and pieces so you can just convert your existing Plague Lord. Really, really cool. I'm looking forward to having a closer look at these. Okay, Plague Knight Torsos. There we go. So you can actually make pretty much a whole a whole um, model from these bits. And there's the legs. Plague Knight legs. Right, we are still getting stuff out. Plague Knight's ancient backpacks. They look very funky. Look at those. Okay, so next up we've got some Plague Top Hatches. So there's two lots of those just there. Very cool. And we've got Plague Knight shoulder pads. More shoulder pads. Shoulder pads are good. Like I said, it's great to be able to distinguish the different units. We've got some more torsos, version 2. And next up, we've got some backpacks. More backpacks. They're the same ones as last time. And we've got some version 2 legs. Different sets of legs. It's great to have so many options. And lastly, in here... Aha! Okay, I saw this. This is some form of spider. I'm not quite sure exactly what system it's for, but I thought it would make a pretty cool Necron conversion 
of some description. So I'm looking forward to having a look at that too. And that is everything that I got from Spellcrow. There you go, how awesome is that? Now don't be surprised to see some of these items being given away here on the channel very soon. So if you're not subscribed yet, start now, hit the Idic Beer icon. And if you want to see more Spellcrow miniature review videos, then check out those two videos just there. Beam me up.